Can I just thank everyone for coming today? There are some special thanks that we'd like to make, obviously, to the facilitators of the competition, obviously via Hull City Academy, Bishop Burton College, you've been brilliant with the hospitality, and obviously everything that you've had today has, um, has been wonderful. We'd like to think everybody's enjoyed themselves. Um, everybody from boys, girls, coaches, managers, spectators, and hopefully we'll see you again, and you'll all take things forward to the next season where you'll all enjoy it. Just on the competition itself, it has been based purely on education and respect. It's not a win-win-win at all costs uh, competition. Yes, we've taken account of some results, but, but there has been attention to both behaviour by both players, coaches, spectators. We have had anonymous people out looking, watching, just to see that if we thought that there was anything there that basically should it, we should improve on. But the decision's been made. The games, obviously, have not been two groups where you play winner-takes-all after a playoff. It's about facilitating match time for players. Obviously, the fixtures are not always easy to put together. So there has been little mixed matches in, in, in the games, um, but it was purely to give match time where we're hoping to get all the games finished together so we could make a, a presentation to everyone. But I thank everybody for the respect because obviously questions have been asked and moving forward, we want to see you all again as you move up in the next age groups. Okay, I'd like to thank everybody on the committee, most of all the referees who I think have done a fantastic job and I'd just like you to put their hands together for all the referees today. <laughs> Secondly, I would like to thank everybody here today for participating in the, the actual um, raffles and, and obviously the, the uh, utilising the, the burger van and everything else because obviously all that goes towards Andy's charity. Can I just say that there is a website, andys.me, as you'll see on the, the boards at the back where the lads are taking and the girls are taking photographs. There is a website. We would welcome anybody in the future to any of our future events, but if you can kind of take a look on the website, it just helps move things forward if there's any future events. But I'd like you to thank you all for coming today and hope you've had a great day. We are running near, nearer to time now, hoping all the points and everything sorted. I'm going to ask Keith just to just take a couple of words as the Hull, Hull Youth and District League Administrator and then over to Dave just to announce the winning teams and, and, and results. Thank you. Thank you everybody, I'm certainly not going to keep you very long, uh, but on behalf of the league, um, we just want to say a big thank you um, to Andy and the organising committee behind today because as you'll all be aware, these things don't just happen. You know, there's an awful lot of work has gone into uh, putting this together behind the scenes. And so I think from players, parents, everybody, we could just have a big round of applause for Andy and his team behind the scenes. When this, when this idea was born out a couple of years ago, obviously it was a transition festival. As Andy has said, it's not just about winning, it's about developing the players for what they're going to be doing from next season. Listening to a couple of the, some of the players that have been going around, you know, they're getting used to different size pitches, different size goals, etc, etc. So we hope this is the first uh, step on your journey to next season. And we look forward to seeing everybody uh, next year. But once again, a big thank you to Andy and his team for putting all this together. Thanks very much, Keith. Right, finally, what we're going to do now is announce three winners, three trophy winners. Obviously, the trophies are to be retained next year, um, but there's obviously medals for all the players, and then there's a couple of armbands there that we'd like to think that the coach might hand out to a couple of the players that they feel have done well in their teams. But it, it will be three trophies, medals, obviously, that Robbie will present, as I said, Quick photograph here if you want a photograph of the, the captain. But then if we can go across there for the team photographs, it will just delay a little bit the, uh, the congestion here. Okay. So I'll pass you over to David now who's going to announce the age group winners. Good afternoon, everyone. Firstly, uh, some brilliant performances today when walking around. 
There's teams that haven't won games, there's teams that won lots of games. And there's been some brilliant attitudes. We've handed out some some great armbands, some wristbands. And uh, for me to watch, you know, I, I used to be a youth footballer 40 odd years ago, and it's been great to see the attitudes and the coaches as well. I've been really impressed with some of the coaching. So, under eights, our winner of the Andy Martin Trophy this year is Costello Targas. Quip, Captain. The rest of the lads come up for your medals. Okay lads, if you want to go and get a photo across near the banner, once you get your trophies. Okay, under tens. This was um, incredibly close. These next two categories are incredibly close. Uh, where the committee, the referees, have been involved with some of the conversations around the winners. Uh, I want to give a, you know, there's some of these results that are incredibly close. So I want to say a big thank you to Beverly Town Tigers as well. Some great attitude. Uh, today that the referees have come to me and said superb throughout constantly we're going to Prairie, Hull United Reds, some great attitudes in there but the winner of the under 10s has been declared as Heselton Okay, so the under 12s. Under 12s, six teams, uh, again, on the big pitch for the first time. You know, it was very new to a lot of the players. And the winner of this year's under 12s has been given to Sprotley. Captain, if you want to come up.